Welcome back everybody to GTA and it's snowing! I don't know how long it's gonna snow for but if you log on to GTA Christmas Eve you will have snow in Los Santos that means all your races will have snow on them all death matches, jobs all the, all the good stuff I'm just riding around in my Christmas truck. I've had this thing since last festive update. Well, when the slam van released. And I never changed the back. So all I had to do was just bring it out and ride it around. Right now, we're going to head back to one of my apartments. We'll grab Gingerbread's Christmas cookie car. So I wanted to show you a new race that I made just for the snow. And it's a downhill, kind of a downhill GTA race. So I hope you'll get on GTA and try it out while the snow's flying. I may keep the race. I may keep the race up after. Which I don't think I really have a choice, but we'll we'll see what happens with it. Christmas cookie car. And of course, there's a lot of new free items. In the mask store and in your clothing stores right now. Some seasonal items, of course, they won't stay in your inventory. If you missed out on the fireworks rocket launcher, now's the time to go grab that. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna start up the. Christmas cookies lose your doom. We'll see if anybody. See if we can get anybody to join. And if not, I'll just race it myself. Basically, just one to showcase the downhill race I built in anticipation for snow. And if you would like to try it out, then it is published now. really too bad that they didn't leave the snow in longer just a few days here and there I don't even think they're gonna have it on Christmas but it's hard saying they might have something up their sleeve I think all the devs have kind of might have a little something planned some of them might back up you never know if you're a World of Tanks player. Toy mode's going on right now, which is definitely a much welcome change to the World of Tanks environment. All right, well, looks like we already got one person to join. That's good. They'll probably back right back out. Let's we'll see if I can get, get some more folks to join. Anybody that ends up joining this race, this is a GTA race. Of course, you can switch it to a regular race, too. I might do another version of it that's just a regular point-to-point -point race. We'll see what happens later on. Of course, it dries much different in the snow than on regular blacktop. So I'm still getting used to how it handles with a Christmas cookie car. I'm gonna say my last race was a little, came in second, but it was a little bad. Now, we'll lock these guys in right now and just launch it. That way, you can have some people on the track sliding around. So we all know if you wait too long, you end up sitting in there alone again. 
course I will pick my Christmas cookie car. Later on I'll add more vehicles just to go with when they take the snow out and stuff. I thought the little Pinto and the slam van and the other truck, the rat truck, would make good festive vehicles to use. And of course the Rhapsody. That's another good little sled type car I figured. Usually I get in trouble if I blow my horn too much at the beginning. Last time I went right off the mountain. <laughs> right here, Bob's going off. Oh, I feel myself gonna get blown up. Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna win in the snow. This will be the first time I won in the snow. I've raced it a few times, but I may come back and spread the pickups out a little bit better. I didn't anticipate the speed going in through versus how far apart I I set them. Looks like our new blues runners are. In a little bit of trouble, but that's okay. They'll hopefully play again and get used to it. And you see there's a lot of a lot of turns. A lot of opportunity for some sliding around and some drifting. Everybody's right. Right about behind me, I think, though. This is where I like, like to light my turbo. As you'll see down at the end here, we have a little bit of a ski slope to go down. Wee Gingerbreads, luge of doom. Too can be a winner if you play gingerbreads lose your doom <laughs> they probably won't like it because I lost and all that kind of stuff I didn't anticipate the I didn't anticipate myself doing that well I've got to say We've got the red sled coming down. Oh! I'm gonna put some barriers on that. I'm gonna put barriers on that because I hit that and every time I hit it I end up down that spot too. And I usually have my turbo ignited when I end up going down it. Can he grab the finish line before the... No, it don't look like that. Oh, good effort, though. He made a good effort. When I built this track, of course, there was no snow. So, the anticipation for the snow and then the anticipation for how it actually works. Is, and then how it actually does work. Two different, the three different things. <laughs> it's hard to hard to control the car when when there's that snow on the ground, of course, opposed to your blacktop. You've got real nice grip, so it really don't seem like a loose track. It seems more like a. It just seems more like a. Um, 
you know, regular track, you know. I wanted to do something on Mount Chiliad, but the restrictions with the map editor is just ridiculous, and, you know, I wanted to kind of get something out before the snow flew, and then try it out. Without having to, you know, with the restrictions, I was, I could only put, well, this particular track, I was only able to fit six players into it. Any more than that, I had to find a, you know, another location close to the spot. Or, the start line would be set up funny because I'd have to angle the, angle the players in a funny way. See if we get lucky enough to get a couple more in. If not, we'll we'll just fire it off with fine folk that we have that are interested in the luge. I do want to put more barriers around that one turn, though. That's that's a touch much going around there. A lot of the times, the pinto hangs on to it, but it still comes off itself. And of course a slam truck and the rat truck's available to race right now while the snow's out. I'll put more vehicles later on in it. Try to do like a stay with a seasons luge. Change it up as a seasons go maybe. Here we go, our second race. I'm not gonna... Ooh. You may try, you may try a race with out the pickups too. I don't know. I got the pickups way, way too close. Looking at the map when I was placing them compared to. Actually, racing out. Might be more enjoyable if you're not getting blown up going through those close S turns like that in the beginning. Seems like a seems like an awful fast time to, in a track to be blown up is towards the beginning like that. Like, oh, okay. Where's this jump again? Landed in the Christmas tree of love. Let's see if anybody else makes that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Made a lot of sense. 
All he had to do was drive by. <laughs> so that, my friends, is a perfect example of impulse issues. We all know of them. We've all experienced it one time or another in our multiplayer gameplay. Come on, other guy. Oh, looks like he's not. Is he coming? Here he comes. Or not. Yeah, he wiped. So long, Chaka. Oh, maybe not. I'm stuck. Here we go. And do takes it. Oh, there yeah, that that figures. Say nothing. <laughs> Things I think of. So that was gingerbreads. Lose your doom. Hope you get out there and give it a try. Hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Take care.